if you don't care about that person. So you've got to be on time. Um, also, it's important that you know you follow up, right? It's important if you say something, that you're going to do something, you've got to do it, right? If you don't, then that person has an image in their head that you don't care, that you don't respect them, that business is not really important to you. Um, so yeah, follow up is important. Um, so do what you say and say what you do. Important. Um, and obviously, I know it's common sense, but being kind and respectful, that really matters. Um, but know this, from my experience, uh, uh, sometimes you're gonna have people that have bad days, and they might be short, they might be rude. My advice to you is, don't respond in life. You know, in other words, be kind and respectful no matter what. That's gonna get you a lot further along uh, with things, because sometimes people have a bad day, and some people in America, it's a small percentage, but some people think if they're at work and they're having a bad day, it gives them an excuse to be short or rude. Um, my big advice from my experience thus far in my career is that don't respond in kind. In other words, if they're rude, don't be rude back. Just say, oh, okay, I'm sorry you feel that way. Uh, okay, well, how can I help you? And then just move past it, right? Don't respond to their negative. Stay positive. <coughs> Very important, stay positive. Uh, with your communication, you gotta be clear with your communication. If you're, um, if you're writing, uh, gotta make sure that that's grammatically correct. Um, and it's, try to keep it as short as possible, right? Uh, in America, people feel like they're super busy, whether they are or aren't, that's how they feel. <laughs> so, they, if they open an email and it's really long, there's a good chance they won't read it. Or they'll just read the first line couple lines, right? So try to keep it short as possible. Um, even if you have to send a follow-up email a couple hours later or something, uh, but try mm -hmm. not to do one big long. Um, as far as uh, communication times, Americans, they work. When it comes to working, um, it's typically 8 in the morning till about 5 p.m. Give or take, everyone's a little bit really close to that, though. Uh, so if you're in a work environment and you're gonna communicate with somebody, you gotta to try to keep it within that time. Um, it is rude in America to receive a work call at nine o'clock at night, you know, or you know, eight o'clock or whatever, because you're at home with your family, you're eating dinner, or you're doing whatever you're doing. And then to be getting business calls, people hate that. They feel like it's like, you just don't care about their, their life. You care only about what you want. So. Don't call or text people in the afternoon hours, like in our evening hours, for our hours. Um, but if it's during business hours, perfect, great. Um, emails are a little safer uh, as far as times because emails for us, they're not, although we get them right away on our phones, but it's socially acceptable if you had an email come in at nine o'clock at night. It doesn't really bother most people um, because it does, the notification on our phones don't pop up immediately. So, but text messages and calls, don't, I strongly suggest not to do that in the evening hours, right? Keep it during the work hours. And remember, most, most of them work Monday through Friday. Um, now, those are the general rules. When in doubt, especially if you've established a relationship already, ask, right? But we forget to do that sometimes. Hey, listen. John, now that we've been working together for a while, and I'm really glad, glad to be working with you, hey, just let me ask, what's, what's a great time to communicate with you? What, what's best for you? I ask, because some people are different. The majority of Americans are what I told you already, but there are some people who we call night owls, right? They're, they, they love to work at night. They're a very small percentage, not very small, but it's a smaller percentage. Um, so once you started good communication during proper times, then an established relationship, ask them. You know, hey, Mike, what's a good time for us to, for me to be calling you or to text you or to email? What are good times for you? What works for you? What days work for you, right? So just ask. Um, we can take questions now. Yeah. If you guys have any questions, you can talk in Urdu, you can talk in English if you wanna ask. Any question in Urdu, you can translate it. Do like it translated in English. So you're open, we are open to questions. Well, the communication, we have challenges in the communication all the time. 
So it's better to ask the questions right now. Yes? Uh, so, uh, Um, 